Raja Parvez Ashraf is declared to have been elected as the Prime Minister of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. With an overwhelming majority, Raja Parvez Ashraf won the election of the Prime Minister by securing votes of 211 MNAs, while his opponent Mehtab Abbasi only received 89. With this election, Ashraf became the 25th Prime Minister in the history of Pakistan and the 4th PM from his political party, the PPP. Upon his victory, the new Prime Minister was congratulated by President Zardari, who said this win showed the nation's confidence in democracy. However, opposition leader Chaudhary Nisar described it differently. Nisar described the election as a big blow to the process of democracy, even going as far as calling it Zardari's revenge on the country. Speaking on the floor of the National Assembly as the Prime Minister-elect, Ashraf paid tribute to his predecessor Yusuf Reza Gilani and the PPP. Madam Speaker, हम तसादम की सियासत न करते हैं न चाहते हैं न इसका शौक रखते हैं ना इस वक्त हमारा प्यारा मुल्क इस तसादम की सियासत का मुतहमल हो सकता है हम शहीद मोहतरमा बेनजीर भुट्टो के मुफाहमत के फलसफे के पैरोकार Later, during a ceremony held at the presidency, Raja Parvez Ashraf, along with his federal cabinet, was sworn in by President Zardari. That in all circumstances, I will do right to all manner of people. Raja Parvez Ashraf, who was elected from Gujar Khan, had served as the Water and Power Minister and is known for not living up to promises made regarding the end of load shedding. His name has also been linked to the Rental Power Project case, which is being heard by the Supreme Court. Ashraf last held the portfolio of Information Technology Minister prior to being elected as the PM.